let's spend a couple of minutes looking at economic resources available to produce goods and services. So resources are also known as factors of production, and they're the inputs that are used in the production or the supply of goods and services. Typically, we classify resources into four main categories, land, labour, capital and technology, and entrepreneurship and enterprise. So land is the stock of natural or environmental factor resources available for production. Uh, labour is the human input into production, so the quantity of labour as well as the quality of the labour resources available to us. Ent on enterprise or entrepreneurship, where entrepreneurs take risks, they allocate financial capital to projects, they organise the factors of production when seeking what they hope will be profitable market opportunities. And capital, well, capital to an economist is any man-made or person-made good or uh, good used to supply other products. And that could be hardware and new technology, it could be factories, it could be plant and equipment, and it also includes software. Now, capital is really important as a factor of production. So when we talk about investment in economics, we're really thinking about uh, investment in fixed physical capital, Bulky units of capital, for example, that bottling plant to enable mass production, which brings down the unit cost. International air traffic control networks to help ensure safe travel. Huge investment in server-side technologies for cloud computing services, uh, all the way through to the use of drones in farming to check crops and spray fertiliser. Working capital, uh, on the left-hand side at the top, working capital is uh, basically stocks of components and things which are used up in production. So capital is hugely important. In the next video we're going to focus in particular on the environment as an economic resource.